Hi everybody, we're going to go through a setup of an actual course, that's a demo course, but they're all going to look pretty much similar to the layout of this demo course. So I wanted to make this video with a tour and really just pointing out where to find assignments and quizzes and lectures when your class is online. So I've logged into stoneacademy.instructure.com with my email address, which is my student.stone.edu email address, and the password that I set up. Again, if you've forgotten your password, there's a forgot password link, so you can just go ahead and click that, and it will send a reset password link to your Stone Academy email address. I'm in my dashboard right now after I've logged in. This is where it lands me whenever I log in for the first time and I can see that I have my student orientation course and I also have my demo course. Now this is in the real world going to have a much longer name for your classes. So your class name should have the course number, so something like SIR114 um, or WELL111, the name of the course as well as your cohort. So all of that that information is going to be in the name of the course. So when you click on it, you're going to end up with the same type of view in every single class. So it's going to open up to what we call modules. Now, if you were using our Blackboard system last semester, the modules section is the same as the weekly unit section. So that's where it's going to be all of the information laid out week by week and what you need to do for each week. So there are objectives, there may or may not be an assignment, there may be a lecture link, and there may or may not be a quiz or a test for that particular week. There'll also be meet your instructor, class expectations, and the acknowledgement that you've seen and read the syllabus. So the question might be, well, that's great, but where's the syllabus? Because that's not in this list. You'll see it on the left-hand side, right underneath the home option. And this is where you're gonna find all of your syllabus information. So you'll find a link to the file that is the syllabus. You'll see a course description, and then you'll also see the objectives for the class. So this page may be a little bit lengthy, but you'll want to go through, open the file, read that information. And then we also have some important links that will take you back to that module section. But you can also just get back to that module section by clicking on the home button. Now, if this view isn't really working for you because it's got a lot of different things and you're really like, I just need to see what my assignments look like or my quizzes for this particular class, you can just scroll right on down through this left-hand menu and click on assignments and you'll see all of the assignments or the quizzes and that'll show you all of the quizzes for that particular course. So these all are feeding from the modules so they're all kind of different views of the same information. Now, previously we were using Blackboard Collaborate in order to do live lectures. We're now going to be using Zoom and you don't have to worry about logging in or creating a Zoom account or anything like that. You just click on the Zoom section. It'll have that meeting listed out by your instructor and then you can go ahead and click the join button. Now the instructor still may put a link inside an announcement. Um, it may put that inside a email that was sent to you, but you can always log into Canvas, click Zoom, and then you can click join for that particular class. Now you can see here that I am missing an announcement section and the announcement section is only going to show when there is some kind of announcement to read. So I'm going to pause here and I'm going to post a quick announcement just to show you what this looks like. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and refresh my screen. Actually, you may need to fully leave the course and then come back in. And hopefully this announcement appears, which took a little extra refreshing, but we do have our announcements listed here right underneath the syllabus. This is what our announcement looks like. 
and when we click on it, we can read it. So the announcements will only appear in that left-hand navigation once there's an announcement to read, but once it's there, the whole list of announcements will be maintained for you. So if you forget and say, oh, I think my instructor posted an announcement the other week and I'm just curious to remember what it said, maybe it had assignment information or a Zoom link, you never know. You can always go back to this announcement section in order to check out what's going on with the class. The last option in this left-hand navigation is the grade section. So this is gonna be where all of your scores are for all of your different assignments that are associated with the class. And this is where you can see those grades. Also, there will be grades in iGrade as well. So you may need to touch base with your individual instructor just to find out if they're doing grades in iGrades or if they are putting grades temporarily in Canvas before moving them over to iGrade. A few other things that I wanna point out just as we're wrapping up this secondary introduction video, you do have the option to use the inbox in the Canvas system to send messages to instructors. So once you're in the inbox, you can click on the edit pencil up here in the upper right hand corner and you can choose your person and you can send a message if needed. So that's an option. Um, if you do want to send out a message uh, to a particular person, you can do that as well. Um, so you can search for certain people and you can send out messages that way. You can also, of course, use email since you'll have your brand new Stone Academy email. So you can do that too. We also have a calendar option over here on the left, and this is gonna show you an in-depth look at all of your courses at the same time and what's due for each class. So this is a nice overview. You can turn things on and off over here on the right-hand side if you click on those colored boxes. And you can, of course, color everything in the colors that you like. All right, so hopefully that helps kind of get the lay of the land for what a majority of your courses are going to look like. And from the dashboard, once more, these courses will all be lined up for you in these individual squares. If you have something like an announcement that is for this particular class, it will show up on the bottom along with any assignments that are due. You also see a to-do list over here on the right-hand side of things that are coming up that you will need to complete. We hope that Canvas being our own LMS environment will help make it feel a little bit more like yours. And we hope that this will be a fun and really great experience um, from the Blackboard experience we had before. Thanks.